This sound file contains the spoken Wikipedia article on seawater, read by user Lauren PT015. Seawater by Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia at en.wikipedia.org. Seawater. Seawater or saltwater is water from a sea or ocean. On average, seawater in the world's ocean has a salinity of about 3.5%. This means that every kilogram, roughly one liter by volume, of seawater has approximately 35 grams or 1.2 ounces of dissolved salts, predominantly sodium or chloride. Average density at the surface is 1.025 grams per milliliter. Seawater is denser than both freshwater and pure water because the dissolved salts add mass without contributing significantly to the volume. The freezing point of seawater decreases as salt concentrates increases. At typical salinity, it freezes at about negative 2 degrees Celsius or 28 degrees Fahrenheit. The coldest seawater ever recorded in liquid state was in 2010 in a stream under an Antarctic glacier and measured negative 2.5 degrees Celsius or 27.3 degrees Fahrenheit. Seawater pH is typically limited to a range between 7.5 and 8.4. Contents. Section 1. Geochemistry. Section 1.1. Salinity. Section 2. Human impacts. Section 3. Compositional differences from freshwater. Section 4. Microbial components. Section 5. Origin. Section 6. Human consumption. Section 7. See also. Section 8. External links. Section 9. Notes. Section 1. Geochemistry. The thermal conductivity of seawater is 0.6 W slash MK at 25 degrees Celsius and a salinity of 35 grams per kilograms. The thermal conductivity decreases with increasing salinity and increases with increasing temperature. Salinity. Although the vast majority of seawater has a salinity between 3.1% and 3.8%, seawater is not uniformly saline throughout the world, where mixing occurs with freshwater runoff for river months or near-melting glaciers, seawater can be substantially less saline. The most saline open sea is the Red Sea, where high rates of evaporation, low precipitation, and river inflow and confined circulation result in unusually salty water. The salinity in isolated bodies of water, for example, the Dead Sea, can be considerably greater still. The density of surface seawater ranges from about 1,020 to 1,029 kilograms per meter cubed, depending on the temperature and salinity. Deep in the ocean, under high pressure, salinity can reach a density of 1,050 kilograms per meters cubed or higher. Seawater pH is limited to the range 7.5 and 8.4. The speed of sound in seawater is about 1,500 meters per second and varies with water temperature, salinity, and pressure. Seawater composition by mass times salinity equals 3.5%. Chart. Seawater composition by mass salinity equals 3.5%. Element percent oxygen 85.84. Element percent hydrogen 10.82. Element percent chloride 1.94. Element percent sodium 1.08. Element percent magnesium 0.1292. Element percent sulfur 0.091. Element percent calcium 0.04. Element percent potassium 0.04. Element percent bromine 0.0067. Element percent carbon 0.0028. Section 2 Human Impacts Climate change, rising atmospheric carbon dioxide, excess nutrients, and pollution in many forms are altering global 
global oceanic geochemistry. Rates of change for some aspects greatly exceed those in the historical and recent geological record. Major trends include an increasing acidity, reduced subsurface oxygen in both nearshore and pelagic waters, rising coastal nitrogen levels, and widespread increases in mercury and persistent organic pollutions. Most of these perturbations are tied either directly or indirectly to human fossil fuel combustion, fertilizer, and industrial activity. Concentrations are projected to grow in coming decades, with negative impacts on ocean biota and other marine resources. Section 3, Compositional Differences from Freshwater. Seawater contains more dissolved ions than all types of freshwater. However, the ratios of solutes differ dramatically. For instance, although seawater contains about 2.8 times more bicarbonate than river water, based on molarity, the percentage of bicarbonate in seawater as a ratio of all dissolved ions is far lower than river water. Bicarbonate ions also constitute 48% of river water solutes, but only 0.14 of all seawater ions. Differences like these are due to the varying residence times of seawater solutes. Sodium and chlorine have very long residence times, while calcium, vital for carbonate formation, tends to precipitate much more quickly. The most abundant dissolved ions in seawater are sodium, chloride, magnesium, sulfate, and calcium. Section 4, Microbial Components. Research in 1957 by the Scripps Institution of Oceanography sampled water in both pelagic and neric locations in the Pacific Ocean. Direct microscopic counts and cultures were used, the direct counts in some cases showing up to 10,000 times the obtained from cultures. These differences were attributed to the occurrence of bacteria and aggregates, selective effects of the cultural media in the presence of inactive cells. A marked reduction in bacterial culture numbers was noted below the thermocline, but not by direct microscopic observation. Large numbers of spirally like forms were seen by mi microscope, but not under cultivation. The disparity in numbers obtained by the two methods is well known in this and other fields. In the 1990s, improved techniques of detection and identification of microbes by probing just small snippets of DNA enabled researchers taking part in the census of marine life to identify thousands of previously unknown microbes, usually present only in small numbers. This revealed a far greater greater diversity than previously suspected, so that a liter of salt water may hold more than 20,000 species. By Mitchell Sogan from the Marine Biological Laboratory, feels that the number of different kinds of bacteria in the oceans could eclipse 5 to 10 million. Bacteria are found at all depths in the water column as well as in the sediments, some being aerobic, others being anaerobic. Most are free swimming, but some exist as sim symbitons within other organisms. Examples of these bioluminescent bacteria. Cyanobacteria played an important role in the evolution of ocean processes, enabling the development of stromatolites and oxygen in the atmosphere. Some bacteria with diatoms and a form link in the cycling of silicon in the ocean. One anaerobic species, Thiomargarita nembinesis, plays an important part in the breakdown of hydrogen sulfide, eruptions from diomaxismus sediment off the Nambian coast, and generated by high rates of phytoplankton, growth in the Benuglia current, upwelling zone, eventually falling to the seafloor. Bacteria like Archaea surprise marine microbiologists by their survival in thriving extreme environments such as hydrothermal vents on the ocean floor. Alcalo-tolerant marine bacteria such as Fusisabidus, and Vibrio SPP survive in a pH range of 7.3 to 10.6, while some species will grow only at a pH of 10 to 10.6. Archaea also exists in pelagic waters and may constitute as much as half of the ocean's biomass, clearly playing an important role in oceanic processes. In 2000, sediments from the ocean floor revealed a species of Archaea that breaks down methane, an important greenhouse gas and a major contributor to atmospheric warning warming. Some bacteria break down the rocks of the seafloor, influencing seawater chemistry. Oil spills and runoff containing human sewage and chemical pollutants have a marked effect on microbial life in the vicinity, as well as harboring pathogens and toxins 
affecting all forms of marine life. The protodinoflagellate may at a certain times undergo population explosions called blooms or red tides. Often after humans cause pollution, may, the process may produce metabolites known as biotoxins, which move along the ocean food chain, tainting higher order animal consumers. Pandavorta virus salinus, a species of very large virus with a genome much larger than that of any other virus, was discovered in 2013. Like the other very large viruses, Mimivirus and Megavirus, Pandora virus infects amoebas, but its genome containing 1.9 to 2.9 megabases of DNA is twice as large as that of Megavirus, and it differs greatly from the other large viruses in appearance in the genome structure. In 2013, from Aberdeen University, announced that they were starting a hunt for undiscovered chemicals in organisms that has evolved in deep sea trenches, hoping to find the, in quote, next generation of antibiotics, anticipating an antibiotic apocalypse with a dearth of new infection-fighting drugs. The EAU-funded research will start in the Atacama Trench, and then move on to search trenches off New Zealand and Antarctica. The ocean have a long history of human waste disposal on the assumption that its vast size makes it capable of absorbing and diluting all noxious material. While this may be true on a small scale, the large amounts of sewage routinely dumped has damaged many coastal ecosystems and rendered them life-threatening. Pathogenic viruses and bacteria occur in such waters such as Escherichia coli, Vibrio cholerae, the cause of cholera, Hepatitis A, Hepatitis E, and polio, along with protozoans causing giardiasis, cryptosporidiosis. These pathogens are routinely present in the ballast water of large vessels and are widely spread in the ballast is discharged. Section 5. Origins Scientific theories behind the origins of sea salt started with Sir Edmund Halley in 1715, who proposed that salt and other minerals were carried into the sea by rivers after rainfall washed it out of the ground. Upon reaching the ocean, these salts concentrated as more salt arrives over time. See hydrologic cycle. Halley noted that most lakes don't have oceanic outlets, such as the Dead Sea and the Caspian Sea and oh, Sea Endorheric Basin, have high salt content. Halley termed this process continental weathering. Halley's theory was partly correct. In addition, sodium leached out of the ocean floor. When the ocean formed, the presence of salts and other dominant ions, chloride results from outgassing of chloride as hydrochloric acid with other gases from Earth's interior via volcanic and hydrothermic vents. The sodium and chloride ions subsequently became the most abundant constituents of the sea salt. Oceanic salinity has been stable for billions of years, most likely as a consequence of chemical tectonic system, which removes as much salt as is disposed. For instance, sodium and chloride sinks, evaporate, deposits poor water burial, and reacts with ocean basalts. Section 6, Human Consumption. Accidentally consuming small quantities of clean seawater is not harmful, especially if the seawater is taken along with a larger quantity of fresh water. However, drinking water to maintain hydration is counterproductive. More water must be excreted to eliminate the salt via urine than the amount of water from the sea salt itself. The renal system actively regulates sodium chloride in the blood with a very narrow range of 9 grams per liter. In most open water concentrations vary somewhat around typical values of 3.5%, far higher than the body can tolerate and what the kidney can process. A point frequently overlooked in claims the kidney can excrete NaCl in Baltic concentrations, 2% is that the gut cannot absorb water at such concentrations so that there is no benefit in drinking such water. Drinking seawater temporarily increases blood's NaCl concentration. This signals the kidney to excrete sodium, but sodium concentrates above the kidney maximum concentrating ability. Eventually, the blood's sodium concentrate rises to toxic levels, removing water from cells and interfering with the nerve condition. 
ultimately producing fatal seizure and heart arrhythmia. Survival manuals consistently advise against drinking seawater. A summary of 163 live raft voyages estimated the risk of death at 39% for those who drank seawater, compared to 3% for those who did not. The effect of seawater intake on rats confirmed the negative effects of drinking seawater when dehydrated. However, the regulation of the uptake of seawater salts may be possible through the colon. The mother of the Robertson family, who were cast away for 38 days in 1972, proposed the feasibility of hydration through unpotable water enemas. The temptation to drink seawater was greatest for sailors, who had expended their supply of fresh water and were unable to capture enough rainwater for drinking. This frustration was described famously by a line from Samuel Taylor Calderidge's The Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner. Start poem. Water, water, everywhere, and all the boards did shrink. Water, water, everywhere, nor any drop to drink. End poem. Although humans could not survive on seawater, some people claim that up to two cups a day mixed with fresh water in a two to three ratio produces no ill effect. The French physician Alain Bombard survived an ocean crossing in a small zodiac rubber boat using mainly raw fish meat, which contains about 40% water, like most living tissues, as well as small amounts of seawater and other provisions hardened from the ocean. His findings were challenged, but an alternative explanation was not given. In Contiki, Thor Haradari reported drinking seawater mixed with fresh is 40 to 60 ratio. A few years later, another adventurer, William Willis, claimed to have drunk two cups of seawater and one cup of fresh per day for 70 days without ill effects when he lost part of his water supply. During the 18th century, Richard Russell advocated the practice's medical use in the UK, and Rene Quintin explained the advocation of other practice countries, notably France, in the 20th century. Currently, the practice is widely used in Nicaragua and other countries, supposedly taking advantage of the latest medical discoveries. Most ocean-going vessels desalinate potable water from seawater using processes such as vacuum distillation or multi-stage flash distillation in the evaporator, or more recently, reverse osmosis. These energy-intensive processes were not usually available during the age of the sail. Larger sailing warships with large crews, such as Nelson's HMS Victory, were fitted with distilling apparatus in their galleys. Other land and marine animals, such as fish, whales, and sea turtles, penguins, and others can adapt to high saline habitat. For example, the kidney of the desert rat can concentrate sodium far more effectively than the human kidney. Basic ASTM International has defined an international standard for making artificial seawater. ASTM D1141-98 Original Standard ASTM D1141-52 and is used in many research testing labs as a reproducible solution for seawater, such as tests on corrosion, oil contamination, and detergency and detergency evaluation. Section 7. See also Artificial seawater, brine, freshwater, saline water, salinity, sea ice, sea salt, seawater gel, seawater pH, thermoline circulation, Cora, Data Set, Global Ocean Salinity. Section 8, External Links, Tables and Software for Thermophysical Properties of Seawater, MIT. Physical Properties of Seawater, Notes. There are many notes. This has been an audio production of Seawater by Lauren PT 15 on August the 16th at 12.01 a.m. 2014.